Hello, this is a quick look at a very small LEGO Minecraft set for 2022. It's the Creeper Ambush. It's a simple, small set and pretty much what you see is what you get. I suppose I'll probably spend the majority of the video just showing you the mobs up close. So for right now, I'll just move them aside and quickly show you what comes with the terrain. I mean, you can pretty much directly see exactly what's here with the exception of the easy removability of the iron block over here. Uh, nothing extra stacked up for the sugar cane. Got your crafting table over here and there is an action feature built into this nicely. Doesn't stand out, doesn't scream at you. It's integrated right into the level, like you could have somebody standing right here, but ultimately it's designed to have a little creeper explosion. Put this right up on top, push this down, and some stuff pops up. It's very simple, but it's effective. It is, it is appropriate and it fits in. Again, doesn't take anything away from this. It's a nice small little bit of, uh, yeah, of, of terrain. And I'm glad that they did it the way that they did. I mean, you can obviously put this somewhere else if you want to and change it up a little bit, but yeah, that is just what it is. Okay, let's look at the mobs. These are both babies. You got the baby pig here and then the baby chicken or just chick. Nice to get this. These are very, very massable, especially in my opinion. I would love to see lots more of these and you can use it as the basis to build up an adult as well with relatively common pieces. And yeah, you can do the exact same thing with the pig, can't you? So those are those. And then this creeper obviously is a brand new variant with the plain red color with new prints for the head and also the side tile piece, which is repeated over to the other side. I believe this is intended to represent a creeper that is taking damage. I think that's what they're going for. Obviously it is way, way, way too bright red for that. It should have just a little bit of reddish tinge, but I don't know how you can approximate that in Lego, especially since the whole thing isn't printed and doesn't have that pixelated pattern in the first place. Uh, this is not intended to be a creeper that's blowing up because of course when they blow up, they turn white and they just increase in size. There's no red involved in it whatsoever. And the, the, the cloud is not a fireball. It's just cloud. It's, it looks more like steam than anything. So going towards white and not towards red. Um, unless this just represents something that I simply don't know about or a modded one, you know, from a modded server. But, you know, it's, it's a new variant and it's interesting. I personally like to have different stuff you know i like i like diversity amongst i don't know just toys in general it's kind of cool to have a variant here and finally the player character is obviously steve and i believe that's intended to represent a stone uh, sword in the other hand is a spyglass uh, which is a very simple build here. I did get definitely unlucky with this particular Steve head. It's a step back. I feel like this is from an older batch because they were getting better most recently. And this one feels older. It's offset to one side and not as opaque as the most recent ones that I had previously seen from the last, uh, the, the last release wave before January. So I'm going to chalk that up to just uh, just just bad luck and hopefully, you know, they're doing better, but I will be on the lookout for poor quality, a return of poor quality in the other sets when I review them. So this costs just $10 US. $10 is a great price and I'm so glad that Lego continues to put out more sets at that price point with even decent value. Like there's a good amount of stuff that easily could have left out at least one of these mobs here. I think that the the amount of terrain is appropriate. The little bit of extra play value, uh, play value is good and doesn't detract from the appearance of things. I mean, this is a nice little, practically just a vignette just by itself for somebody who wants to have a small desk model to represent their uh, combination of their love of Lego and of Minecraft in just a very small space. Again, super cheap. So uh, can I really complain about this? The, que the creeper is maybe a little bit odd and might draw some complaints from abso absolute purists, I suppose, but I'm really, I'm really just searching for something bad to say about it. I don't have much myself, if anything. So let me know if there's anything you don't like about it down in the comments, but thank you for watching. Hope you enjoyed this and I'll talk to you again very soon.